Hi friends, this is Meg and I want to give you a lesson on how you can transform this piece of cardstock into a tadpole or a frog that you can play with. You will find this piece of cardstock in the learning packet that your um, parents probably picked up for you today. It's the fourth learning packet and it's got some um, some brass brads on it. So what you will need to do this project is some colored pencils or some markers or some crayons. You will need a pair of scissors. You, if you have it, will need a hole punch or you can use something like a screwdriver or a um, nail or even a safety pin to poke holes in the cardstock. So the first thing you want to do is color the parts of your tadpole and then your frog. You have the body, you have the long swishy tail, you have two very strong back legs, and then you have two front legs. So you're going to color all of those. I colored mine already. After you've colored them, you're going to need to cut them out. And I started to cut mine out. I cut out the tail. I cut out, here I'm just gonna finish cutting out the body. You all know how to cut, don't you? So then you're gonna notice, once you've cut them out, um, or beforehand even, that there are three dots. That's where you're going to make your holes. Okay, you see three holes? And in the tail, there's one hole. Again, you can make it with your hole punch, or you can poke it with something that's kind of sharp. So now I have the body, the tail, I have two hind legs, and I have two front legs. I'm going to take one of the brass brads. I'm going to put it through the back. And then I'm going to bend them out like that. So now my tadpole has a tail. It can swish its long thin tail. And then if I want my tadpole to continue developing into a frog, I'm going to give it some back legs. And here's And I'm actually going to put the front leg on at the same time. But I'm going to hide that front leg. So there's one back leg. And here's the next back leg. I'm going to put the leg on. to see this isn't it I think you can see that now so that's what it looks like in the back and in the front I've got my tadpole oh look it's grown its back legs now and then finally as you know the last part of the frog metamorphosis is when it grows its front legs And it still has a long tail, doesn't it? But when you're all done with your tadpole and you want it to become a full-fledged frog, you can just bend that tail under. And hold it like that and you've got a frog. Now, something else that was in your learning packet 
is this song and I thought I would sing it for you and then you can practice singing it yourself and maybe we'll all get to sing it together at some point. I'm going to put my frog down here. Tadpole hatched out from an egg, from an egg, from an egg. Tadpole hatched out from an egg and liked to swim around. Tadpole grew his two hind legs, two hind legs, two hind legs. Tadpole grew his two hind legs and still he swims around. Tadpole grew his two front legs, two front legs, two front legs. Tadpole grew his two front legs and still he swims around. Tadpole lost his tail so fine, tail so fine, tail so fine. Tadpole lost his tail so fine and still he swims around. Tadpole has become a frog, become a frog, become a frog. Tadpole has become a frog and now he jumps on land. Froggy can both swim and jump, swim and jump, swim and jump. Froggy can both swim and jump. He is an amphibian. Do you remember that an amphibian is a creature that starts its life in water and then lives on land as an adult? Uh, Frogs and salamanders are both amphibians. And this tadpole has become a frog thanks to the process of metamorphosis. I hope you enjoyed playing with it. Maybe you can make up some stories and sing some songs. Bye for now.